Hey everyone, it's GameDo with Drew, and welcome to our final, uh, basically beginner tutorial right now, uh, with nodes. So, let's get straight into it. Let's talk about world environments. Let's add in our scene, world environment, and making new environment. The next thing you have to make sure is press background and press canvas. In order for the canvas to work, we need it in we need it to be on canvas mode or else 2d will not work now let's do some things let's make our sprites glow as you can see right here let's make our intensity really high but still see that nothing happens let's add some more bloom and see that stuff does happen when you add bloom the reason why nothing's happening is because our hdr threshold is one if we lower it you can see that there's more and more glowing happening on the scene. And to make it even higher, we can just add more luminance. And you can also add the HDR scale to low. The lower it is, the more significant it is, or the higher it is, the less there is. You can actually make it a high, higher quality, which honestly, I'm going to be honest, it doesn't really do that much. But if you want to make the threshold for only a certain amount of sprites, say you only want it on the player, you're going to have to update the player's raw uh, glow. So you can press the player, and then you can press modulate, and then set it to raw, and then set everything to 1.5, 1.5, 1.5. Now that the raw is edited, you can see that the HDR threshold can be one and it's not affecting anything else but it's affecting this and if we make it even higher it stops at around 2.3 or so so let's just set that to one and we already have glow so let's go into our game and we'll see that we are glowing um, while nothing else is glowing isn't that weird now let's work on something else let's work on a tone map and we can make our different tone map look weird with a Reinhardt with higher exposure or really low exposure. Add a lot of white or a little white or tons of white. Um, the more white you add, the less there is. So we can see that it's really dark now. So let's just reset all that stuff and let's add more auto exposure. As you can see, it's really bright. And if we increase the scale more, it's even higher. And if we decrease the scale, it gets really low. So we can actually increase the Luma and all that stuff. And you can see that it looks like a nice shadowy map. You can have a nice shadow map. And if you want to make it even better, we can just make our character glow. So we'll make the H or luminescence higher and the scale higher. And then we'll glow while everything else isn't. See, we're we're really bright while they aren't. Let's turn off the auto exposure as well as um, turn down the intensity and uh, luminescence. And we'll also turn off glow for right now. We can actually turn on far blur. The further things are away, uh, there's going to be more blur. Um, see how over there it's like really blurry when, we're, when right here it's not remember the zoom in we have that zoom in enabled because you know I made it last episode go check out last episode SS reflections this is basically just like the rough roughness and like depth of, of what you're gonna see ambient light is just like the light that you're gonna see around you at all times so if we make the energy really high We'll go into our game and we'll see that nothing happens. The reason why there's no ambient light is because it really doesn't work on canvas from what I've seen. So don't even worry about that. The most things that I would worry about are the, uh, oh, the background was changed because of ambient light. Um, so what I've seen is that really only use glow adjustments um, which increases just contrast and saturation and wow that so you can make like a really cool like um retro style game like this without even making shaders or making anything specific world environment is really powerful 
and you can even throw in the world environment inside your player just to make your player glow. So if I add a child node world environment, add a new environment, and just make him glow, then you can just make him glow while nothing else glows around him. Uh, but I forgot to turn on uh, canvas, so just don't mind me. Uh, let's turn the HDR threshold lower, and let's make the HDR scale high. Now we're glowing with nothing else around it. So, that's basically all you need to know about uh, world environment in the 2D space. Um, follow me next month when I start working on the 3D space with the, our beginning tutorials, and then I will tackle world environment last again. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye, everyone. Also, make sure to subscribe and watch my stream on Saturday night. Bye.